The Aeronautical Development Agency has branded the AMCA Mark II as a 5.5 generation fighter jet, and this higher classification signifies that it will be superior to the existing 5th generation fighter jets. The existing 5th generation fighters have a basic health monitoring system, but the AMCA Mark II will feature an advanced variant of artificial intelligence based integrated vehicle monitoring system that will monitor the performance of engines and other sensors, and will self diagnose and predict aircraft's health to reduce its downtime. The AMCA will feature automated takeoff and landing, and pilots will have the option to choose from preset settings that will engage throttle control and flight controls. The AMCA's cockpit will also feature a panoramic active matrix display, and a single large multifunctional touchscreen interface supported by voice commands. The AMCA Mark II can be operated in both manned and unmanned modes and will feature an advanced variant of the automatic ground collision avoidance system, and if there is no response from the pilot, the aircraft can be landed remotely by a ground operator. It will also feature a fully automatic air-to-air -air refueling, and the AMCA Mark II will be the first receiver aircraft that will be able to do automatic mid-air refueling. A former Western Navy commander has said, that the Indian Navy will get delivery of the INS Vikrant aircraft carrier and the first Project 15B stealth guided missile destroyer by the end of 2021, but the commissioning will take time as they will be tested by the Navy for its capability. INS Vikrant will carry two squadrons of MiG-29K fighters and 10 Cam of 31 helicopters, and is equipped with the Barak-8 surface-to-air missile for aerial protection, while the P-15B destroyers are equipped with BrahMos anti-ship cruise missiles, 8-cell vertical launched system for 32 Barak-8 missiles, 127mm Mark 45 naval gun, 533mm torpedoes and RBU-6000 anti-submarine rocket launchers for anti-submarine warfare. Indian Navy will also get the delivery of the INS Gat ballistic missile nuclear submarine in early 2022, that will be equipped with 3,500 km range K-4 SLBM. The private sector firm Artex Solonics Limited has announced that it has bagged a prestigious order from the Indian Army for the supply of its cranking ultracapacitor system, that are extremely effective in starting operations of tanks and infantry combat vehicles, particularly in high altitude and low temperature conditions in which the batteries fail to perform. The cranking ultracapacitor system have 10 times more life than the present-day battery options, and can also handle 100 times more charge-discharge cycles than the existing batteries. The DRDO has developed single crystal blades technology, and has supplied 60 of these high-pressure turbine blades to Hindustan Aeronautics for helicopter engine application, and will soon supply the remaining 240 blades. The DRDO has manufactured the single crystal blades out of nickel-based superalloys, that are capable of withstanding high temperatures of operation. India is the fifth country in the world after US, UK, France and Russia to have this capability to design and manufacture such single crystal components. The DRDO and Larsen and Tubro have developed three military robots for military reconnaissance operations. The first is the Bolbot Very Small Differential Drive Robot for short-range visual reconnaissance. The second is the Sentry, that is a four-wheeled robot equipped with 360-degree cameras and an infrared sensor, and will be used to probe flat or semi-flat landscapes for the military, while the third is a mini unmanned ground vehicle, which is a medium-sized tracked robot designed to infiltrate buildings and survey various floors. 
the Biden administration has granted export approval for the T-800 engines for the Turkish T-129 combat helicopter that are destined for Philippines, after which Pakistani officials are planning to appeal the Biden administration to also remove the blockade on the engines for Pakistan, that will clear the $1.5 billion procurement of 30 T-129 helicopters and Pakistan have also started lobbying the US to support the billion-dollar deal. The Chairman Joint Chiefs of Staff Committee of the Pakistan Armed Forces had also visited Turkey recently, where he was informed about latest Turkish platforms including the T-129 and TFX fifth-generation fighter jet.